How's it going you guys? It's Scott with Everyday Home Repairs. I'm in a small bathroom here and doing a classic DIY project of setting a toilet bowl. Now this should be an easy install, but there are many things that can trip you up along the way. So I'll point those out. So hopefully you can avoid those and make this project as successful and easy as possible. And that critical step of actually picking up the toilet, you have all that weight in your hands, you're trying to set it on your flange and your wax ring or your seal. But there's one product that makes that part as easy as possible and as forgiving as possible. So let me show you that product, how to install it, and a few of those features that I think make it a no-brainer for us DIYers. So let's jump into it. Now, if you had removed an old toilet, you wanna plug that drain pipe and remove the old wax ring. You wanna clean off that flange, removing the wax ring in one piece as much as possible, and then just removing all the other wax, the old bolt, and getting that flange as clean as possible before building it back up to the new toilet install. So once your old wax ring is removed, you wanna take a look at your flange and see what conditions it's in. One, the bolt slots, you wanna check those in the condition. And two, you wanna see how secure is that flange? Is it secured to the floor or do you need to do some work? About half the flanges are like this where I need to do some work. The old screws that were actually holding this flange in were old drywall screws. They're rusted out, they were bent, they weren't really doing anything. And this flange, although it was in good condition, it was sloped where this side was above the floor, this side was below the floor. So I actually had to use two different flange repairs. One is this bottom stainless steel two-piece bracket here that actually supports the flange from under the old flange, which will then will hold it above the floor. And then this repair flange, and it's an extension flange from Odie. And that gives you some additional holes or slots for you to secure into solid subfloor. Although it's not pretty, now at least my flange install, I can apply pressure to it and it is secure and solid and now ready for a wax ring or a seal before setting the toilet. Do not put your wax ring, do not put your seal on before ensuring that your flange is in good condition. Now, instead of just using a standard wax ring, I do recommend a different product. And why I recommend that is because it's gonna be flexible to your situation where your flange is below the flooring, flush with the flooring or above the flooring, which a simple wax ring is not gonna do that. You're gonna to have to get the right size. And that usually leads to many trips to the hardware store as you try to match things up. Instead, I recommend the all-in-one kit from Danco. It has more flexibility and it's gonna fit the different situations that we encounter as DIYers that we don't always foresee because we just don't have that much experience. And the key features on this kit is you have an assembly here that makes up for different levels of your toilet flange. So if your toilet flange was below the actual flooring surface and you need more height, you would keep this blue extension on and then install this to your toilet flange and then let your toilet sit on top of that. If your flange is flush with the floor, you actually remove that extension and then if your flange like mine is above the floor, there's actually a plastic, hard plastic insert in here that you just remove. So I'll be using this configuration and don't be fooled, although this looks completely like rubber, there is actually a wax ring integrated inside to ensure we get a good seal to our toilet flange. Then for the bolts, the bolts are also flexible. You can have bolts configuration like this that gives you a little bit more height or without the extension, something like this. And that means you're not gonna have to hacksaw off your bolts to get your caps on top. So let's go ahead and do the install and see how everything lines up. So first, do not forget to remove those shop towels or paper towels from your drain. Then you'll place the threaded studs on your flange. Those have both internal threads and external threads. Once they're placed, then you'll place the O-ring slash seal on top and then put these plastic caps on threading to the outside threads, which will tighten, tighten them onto your wax ring or seal. Then you'll place the blue locating pins. And once you have those placed, then you're gonna grab your toilet. 
Why I like this kit and those locating pins is I can actually take the toilet bowl and tank additional weight, but I'm confident I can place these without any trouble, set those in place and get my toilet lined up while that seal collapses down and seals tightly around the toilet and the flange. Now it might take a little bit of working side to side, but eventually that seal will collapse down where your toilet can sit on your floor and maintain that solid seal between the toilet and the flange surface. Once you have that in place, then you'll take the locating pins out. You'll use your bolts. Now these bolts and why we don't need any tools, it comes with a little spacer slash tightening tool. So you'll tighten from the left side to the right side back and forth until you have everything snug. And then once it's snug, you'll just place the caps right on top and you're done. So the toilet is installed and for my money, the Danco all-in-one kit, although a little bit more in terms of cost, I think it's a no brainer for DIYers and the flexibility of the wax ring, fitting those different flange scenarios we talked about, and the bolts themselves, just an easier install, and you don't have to get that hacksaw off to get your caps on top. So it seems like a win-win, and I do recommend it for you guys, but let me know what you think down in the comments. Now, if you need a little bit more help with your tank install, maybe you have a water leak, check out this video right here. It'll go through the most common water leaks, but I'll also go through all the different parts in the tank to help you troubleshoot for your installation. So thanks for joining me on this video, and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.